few seconds. There you go. Woohoo! All right. Just waiting for people to come in now. I'll just mention that people will be able to take comments. Okay. Well, I'll see you some. Hey, everyone. I am live. We are live. Um, so I'm just hello, Joy. Hi, Adino. Um, everyone can hear me okay? Yay! Hi, Mickey. Okay. So, yay! I'm so excited. 42, 79 people. Super fun. So, we'll wait a couple minutes to um, for more people to trickle in. And so, where I am is I am at a Thai festival in Vancouver. So, I was already here yesterday. First of all, you guys hear me okay? You guys hear me okay? Give me like a yes, we can hear you. Because it's kind of loud out here. So, I want to make sure that. Okay, good, good. You can hear me. Okay, um, so I was already here yesterday and. I posted on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and a lot of people were telling me that, oh, I don't have a Thai festival in my town. I wish I could join you. I wish I could go. So I thought, you know what? I am going to um, do a live stream so you can like, so you can virtually join me at the Thai festival. Um, so a couple of housekeeping things. Thank you, Estefania. Um, thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, so a couple of housekeeping things before we start. Um, as I am seeing the comments, but they're coming super quickly. So if you've got a question you want me to answer, don't post your question until at the very end. Okay, at the, once the live stream is over, post the question and I will be able to answer them. Also, Adam is here. Adam is here uh, moderating the show. Adam, if you want to like say hi or like type something, um, if you have. Adam might be able to help answer your questions as well if he if he can answer them and also there's another feature um, another housekeeping thing a feature that's relatively new on YouTube uh, it's called super chat and it's a way to to if you want to donate to the show you support the show you donate a couple of dollars and then what happens is your comment will be pinned uh, and highlight it in a place where I can see it. So if you really want me to see a comment right now, or if you want me to, uh, if you want to support the show, donate a couple of dollars, you can uh, use that super chat. Wow, loud motorbike. Um, you can use that super chat feature. And I think it's like an S logo around the thing somewhere. All right, so now I've got lots of people here. I'm gonna start giving you a tour of what is here. So of course you guys want to see the food first, right? So I'm going to turn around my camera. Woohoo! There you go. Okay, so it's not big. So I'll give you like a quick tour around. It's not a big uh, tour. Vancouver is not that big of a city. And there are, I mean, compared to places like New York or London, it's actually not, there's not that many Thai people, but we're still able to have a relatively good Thai, uh, Thai festival here. So this section is where all the restaurants are. This is a brand new restaurant I've never heard of. This is Sala Thai. Sala Thai is one of the oldest Thai restaurants in Vancouver. Um, and they've got mango and sticky rice here that you can you can have the mango is actually really good right now Look they've got uh, I actually had this yesterday the mango is super sweet right uh, right now So it's a good time to have mango sticky rice if you are in Vancouver now, let's see what kind of food they've got We're going live on YouTube Woohoo! All right, Sala Thai restaurant. We've got some green curry with chicken. We've got pad thai, and this is with tofu, so vegetarian. This is mi grob. It's actually crispy rice noodles tossed in a sauce that's sweet and sour, kind of similar to pad thai, but it's you know it's a different feel. So I'm really, woohoo! Say hi, you you guys are live on YouTube. Woohoo! Hey, Paul. Hi, I found this guy yesterday. He came and found me, tracked me down. You are live on my channel right now. <laughs> He's a fan. All right. Woohoo! Oh, some dancing. I gotta show you some some of this dancing. I gotta I gotta um, catch this before they leave. Beautiful dancing, and there's dancing all day long, actually. Wow, so 
ไลท์ใช่ไหมคะสวยมาก Okay, I have to tell you this. When I was in Thailand, so all girls in Thai school had to learn this kind of dancing. So I, you know, learned this as well when I was little. I was pretty good at it, but no, it never became a career. So this next thing I want to show you, it's really cool. It's the fruit carving station, and these chefs are actually imported all the way from Thailand. So. Wrong side. Look at all of this really beautiful carving. Look at that. And this guy right here is a chef all the way from Thailand. Thai t o s t long YouTube you na ka. He's a chef from Thailand that he's here specifically for this festival, and he is just a master, a master at his craft. Just look at that. I mean, that's got to be incredibly sharp, and look how just so intricate that detail is. So, I'll show you some of his stuff. So, what he's making, I'm guessing, is these roses right here. Oh my God! Look at this bird! Look how cute that is! Look at that! I mean, I am so so shocked. This is a kabocha squash. Watermelon is always, always a great fruit for carving. Oh, there's another bird. Oh, look how cute! And this whole bouquet made of carrots and kabocha squash. Just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Yes, that carrot bird is vegan. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Hi, Polly. Nice Hi, how you. are you? You are live on my YouTube oh, channel right now. <laughs> All right, and they have some uh, cooking demonstration that's gonna happen a little bit later. เดี๋ยวมีโชว์ทำอาหารเหรอคะใช่ค่ะมีอะไรบ้างตอนเอ่อบ่ายโมงสิบนะคะเป็นการโชว์ทำอาหารค่ะก็จะมีโชว์ซุปตำแล้วก็ทำกุ้งลอยค่ะ Okay, so they're gonna have papaya salad demonstration. So this is all the prep for papaya salad, and they're also going to have a Thai dessert demonstration. So for those of you who are just tuning in, I am doing a live tour of the Thai festival. In Vancouver, all oh, the two beautiful dancers are still up there. Look at that! And it's getting busy now. There's some more food over here, and these are just local Thai restaurants. As you can see, I mean, again, um, if you are in a relatively big city, there should be enough Thai restaurants to have some sort of a festival like this. So definitely. Get on the Facebook page of the Thai Consulate. Get on a Twitter feed or whatever social media of Thai Trade Centers, Thai Consulate, whatever Thai organizations in your city, and stay tuned um, to what's going on in your city. There might be a Thai festival, especially if there's a Thai temple in your in your in your area. Um, just take a quick break. I want to give you this tip: if there's a Thai temple in your area. If there is a Thai consulate in your city, if there is a Thai uh, trade center in your city, there's a very good chance you're gonna have um, some sort of a Thai festival like this. Okay, so get on their social media so you're notified. Because let me tell you, these people are not the best at advertising. Like I think they're two years, three years. I didn't even know about the Thai festival until somebody told me. Um, okay, so what this is? This is actually really cool. I'm gonna turn this camera. Around. This is an exhibit. It's mostly dedicated to the King Rama the Ninth that just passed away. So there's a little bit of an information up here talking about the king's philosophy and why he was um, such a well-loved king in Thailand. Oops, there we go. So you can sort of go and read all about his life's work. And then over here in this corner is a Thai instrument band. Look at all. Beautiful ladies and beautiful dresses. That instrument right there, the one with the strings, I used to play that when I was a kid. So it's called a kim. And um, too bad they're not playing anything right now. But look at all these ladies and gentlemen. Oh, they're gonna play. Look at that. Oh, this brings me back to like my old memories. Um, Oh, and over here, I wanted to let you know real quick what these ladies are making. 
is dogmaitan and they're sort of these little paper flowers that are going to be used as part of the royal cremation of the king later on this year and Thai people are making these flowers all over the world um, and they're all getting shipped to Thailand as part of the royal cremation it's really cool it's part of our tradition to burn these flowers along with it oh there goes the music can you hear it I think I'm in everybody's way. Everyone's trying to take a photo and I'm like right in front of the stage. <laughs> okay, so that was really cool. That song actually is one of the classic Thai music. I played that song as a kid, so it's bringing back some memories. So let's go over on the other side where there's gonna be non-food. The food, to be honest, is not that interesting. It's like green curry, spring rolls. It's, you know, the usual, the classic. Um, but over here, you have to go, in order to get a passport, you have to go to our exhibit booth right there. You will see the uh, Thai exhibits. Tourism Authority um, has tons of brochures Thai, uh, costume, you can pick up well if you're thinking like about going to Thailand the anytime the soon. Of, um, you can win some prizes, I think. Over here, okay, okay, this is hilarious. Guys, watch this. Watch this, you guys. Do you recognize that? And that is the Thai Trade Center booth and they are playing my videos on this never-ending loop it's kind of embarrassing when I walk over here and I see me on the stage um, and but they are the people who have been sponsoring all the videos in Thailand um, I went to I went to Thailand recently and did a couple of documentary style videos and they're the people who sponsored it so they have a little booth here and there's actually a little game you can play where if you answer some questions you are going to get a prize is that right you get to answer questions okay let me let me get one question let me pick something I want to play this game I have to answer a question it'll be really embarrassing if I don't get this right number three is a rice question okay what another name of what is another name for homily right it's Thai jasmine rice yes exactly Oh, I got it right and I get three Thai jasmine rice with instructions. That's awesome. I'm not gonna take it. Oh my god. See if you come down here you might score some free rice. Okay. It's not much bigger from this point on. There's like a booth over there um, that's doing some Thai massages. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm gonna end this live relatively shortly because to be honest I'm reaching uh, data the data capacity for my phone I'm doing this on my data plan so I can't do it for too long but you can have some Thai massages over here oh before I go I really want to highlight these guys you guys remember my last video where I talked about seven different snacks you must get when you're in Thailand well here they are these incredible peanuts in the video I talked about the chicken flavor the coffee flavor is my other favorite it's absolutely wonderful and these guys have really delicious coconut water as well so say hi guys you guys are live on my youtube channel <laughs> they are importers of thai ingredients into vancouver so very important people without these guys i don't know how i'm gonna cook my stuff thanks you guys <laughs> okay all right so yeah it's not it's not actually that big so but it's just such a fun way and it's a beautiful day a great way to spend the weekend some interesting stuff there's some clothing some fruit um, oh before I go before I run out of my data I wanted to show you this place because these are the people who sell my um hi Ravi 
sell my Thai ingredients. So this is the, my Thai grocery store and they have a little booth here selling Thai iced tea, oyster sauce, all sorts of sauces. They've got glass noodles, they've got tom yum paste, all oh, those pineapple cookies. They are delicious. And they've also imported some mango steams. Mango steams back here, you can buy for $7.50 a bag. And they've also got these long gong. I posted about these on Instagram and on Facebook yesterday. So good, you guys. I'm, I'm glad to see that they've started to sell quite a bit because they're just so good. Okay, um, these are fresh mango steams. Thank you for asking, that is a good question. Um, Okay, you guys, I think I'm going to be done for today before I run out of my data and spend $300 on extra data. Um, I hope this was fun. Again, if you've got questions, post them um, after this live stream is over. This live stream will become a video, so if you missed it, you can come back to it. And again, find out whether in your city there is a Thai festival like this. Check out your Thai temples, your Thai consulate, your Thai trade center, any Thai organization. And if you are a mover and shaker in your city, get yourself out together with the Thai restaurants in your city and organize one and be a starter of something cool. All right, you guys, I'm going to say bye for now. See you later. Sawadee ka. Finish.